I like, you know, I like it. Um, two courts, magnificent, you know, the weight room, just the city. You know, everybody, you know, embraced me that I've seen, you know, at restaurants and things like that. Everybody know who I am and um, they're excited, just as excited as I am uh, for this opportunity. Have you got a sense as to um, how what Wes will ask from you will be any different from what you were asked to do in, in Denver? Um, I think we, we uh, our relationship has always been really, really strong. Um, I think he knows what I can do and what, you know, what role I played in Denver. Um, I played that well, but, you know, every team is different. Um, so I'm sure um, he's going to, you know, anticipate me to um, step my game up, you know, better than I was in Denver um, with just his role and his opportunity at stake. Um, he just told me he wanted me to bring that winning edge, that competitive nature that, you know, I put on display there. We was together for four years. So um, that's what I'm going to bring to D.C. on top of just expanding, you know, my game um, as a leader. In, in what ways, um, you mentioned that also when you were here in Vegas that you're looking at for a chance to kind of spread your wings. And uh, in what ways do you hope to show further what you can do and, and spread your wings? Um, I mean, I think for me, it's just to prove that I can, you know, you know, help lead a team and also win games at a high level. Um, I think just showing the world every night um, how, how, how much I've improved. Um, and in this role, I will be able to you know, show more and uh, do more, you know, I feel like than I was able to display some time in Denver. All right, we'll go over to Karita. Sorry. Hey, Marty, welcome. How you doing? I just wanted to ask you, what part of your game do you think will make the most impact to improving this team? Um, I think, I mean, everything, to be honest, or just like my assist numbers should definitely go up, the talent we have, and me being able to, you know, play make more. Um, you know, in Denver, we ran a lot through, you know, Nicola to start the offense. So my assist numbers wasn't that high, but um, I'm looking to, you know, up that, you know, and make everybody, you know, be happy when they're on the court with me and have fun doing it. Um, you know, I'm a guy who's definitely um, like getting my teammates going um, and on both ends. So I'm looking forward to that. And also my scoring, um, I'll, I'll be able to score more and show I could do that as well when needed. So I'm just excited and pumped and um, ready to, you know, put on for, you know, DC. Thanks. So just as a quick follow-up, uh, you mentioned your relationship with coach. How do you think that'll help you get uh, acclimated? Um, I think I think it'll be an easy trans transformation for me because um, just the signals and the calls is all the same. Um, me just being around a summer league team and just hearing how they do stuff, it's still the same terminology. So for me, I think it's going to be just getting team chemistry, um, learning guys, learning guys' personalities. You know, I'm not just a guy who, um, with my teammates, I try to get to know every one of them um, just so I know how I can approach them and what get, gets them excited, what gets them going. So that's just been a good teammate. And I try to learn guys' personalities off the court just as well as on. So I think that would just be the biggest jump for me um, as far as style of play and plays and calls and stuff. It's still the same terminology, so it should be easy. A easy transition. Thank you. What a Jacob. Hi, hey, welcome to DC. Um, is is there a specific like philosophy that that you kind of ascribe to as a as a point guard, whether that's as a pass first guy or different moments to be aggressive? Is there something that that you really tell yourself kind of as a philosophy as a point guard? Um, just uh. I, try, I like knowing like all the other teams um, and players' tendency. So um, I love watching, you know, much film um, just to be as prepared I could be to put myself and my teammates in uh, a great position to win a game. Um, also, I just try to do, you know, next next play mentality. I try to, you know, being a point guard, there's so many possessions in the game. I, I just can't let one possession, 
dictate my next three. Um, so that's my motto I usually use. You know, and at midnight, you know, they get, my mom will always tell me, you know, you will never play that game again. Um, it's a lot of basketball left to be played. Don't try to dwell one day. Make your Monday just as, make your Tuesday better than your Monday was because, you know, you as a point guard, I'm like a quarterback on the team. So people are going to be looking at me, you know, to keep composure and keep us together. So I'm looking forward to showing that. What have your impressions been over the past few years since you've been in the league of Bradley Beal? And how do you think you're going to be able to mesh with him and play next to him on the court? Yeah, I mean, I would, you know, like I said, I've always thought he was, um, if not the best two guard, you know, in the league. I've been a big fan of his, his game, you know, since I was even in college, you know, just watching NBA. Um, I just like how he can get out in transition, run a fast break, make plays and knock down big, big time shots whenever you need him to. So. I think we're going to be a, a very scary, you know, uh, duo um, if it goes the way I see it. And um, I know he's excited and I'm excited. You know, I can't wait to get to work. Josh, did you have a follow up? I did. Thank you. Uh, we always focus on offense, us reporters, but I was wondering if you could describe what kind of uh, defensive player mm -hmm. you are. Yeah, I mean, um, I'm not the biggest guy, but, you know, I I play with a grit, you know, about myself and try to just play every possession on defense as best as I can. Being in early for low, man, I'm willing to sacrifice my body, um, um, taking charges and things like that, too. So I think just me being the head of the defense, you know, I have to talk um, every possession. You know, it can't be a possession where I'm out there just being going through the motions because it's the defense – if you the head on the snake, that was where it started. So um, I look forward to playing defense. Wes is definitely a defensive minded minded guy, so I'm sure he's gonna hold me to a high standard. Um, but I'm ready to take on the challenge, and you know I want him to challenge me every every day just to be as good on defense as he want me on offense. We'll go over to Wayne. What's up, Monte? <clears throat> First off. With you being traded with Will and you knowing your history with Coach West, how does that make you feel more comfortable being acclimated to the team? Um, I think I think it, it just boosts my confidence that much more, you know, that, you know, I'm over here with someone that's very familiar with me. Um, I'm familiar with him. He's familiar with me and Will. So um, I think from jump is just the, the comp how comfortable I'm going to be first day. You know, it's going to be – I'm not going to be scared to speak up. I'm not going to be scared to – give my experience, you know, with me playing a lot of playoff games and coming on this roster, you know, I'm probably uh, one of the most experienced guys with as, my, as many playoff games I do have. So guys and, you know, guys going to be looking, you know, at me to speak up and, and give my knowledge because, you know, I have, I've played in, in um, playoffs every year I've been in the league. So um, I'm looking forward to that. And also, I know what was reported that when Coach got the position, you guys were disappointed because you were miss Coach, but also happy for him. But now that you're in Washington, what are some of the things you missed about Coach West that you're kind of happy to be back with him again? Um, just like you know, Coach West is a guy who he's he's energetic. You can hear him. I know y'all be at the games. His voice reeks through the gym. Uh, you know, he uh, he just get after it every day. You know, he the same same guy every day, and he is he always remind you like. You know, um, you're good, man. Like he he's that guy who give you confidence. No matter if you 0 for 14, he is to shoot the next one. You know, as a player, you wanna you wanna hear that from your coach. You know, that that gives you and lets you know, like, man, this guy really trusts me. He's you know he's want me to be successful. Um, and Wes, you know, took a chance on me, and we had some talks and things like that. Um, Wes is he he know me, you know, off the court also. So. You know, he took time to do that. So that's what I, you know, missed most. And I'm happy we back together. And lastly, Monte, for the fans of D.C. that might not really know you and will get to know you, was this a message, a message for them? Um, just know um, I'm coming. I'm coming locked in um, strictly business in D.C. And I'm ready to, you know, get get to the playoffs. You know, the city deserves it. The fan base does. And, uh, you know, every night my goal is to go out there and be the best version of Monte I can be. And I'm definitely looking forward to it um, and ready to go. 
We'll go over to Christos. Hey, Monte, hope you're doing well, first of all. Uh, from what you see so far from the team, what make, gives you confidence that this is the right fit for you on and off the floor? Um, I just think, you know, I think it's, you know, a big opportunity, big moment for me. Um, I'm back comfortable. Um, the coaching staff, the front office, you know, and the players, you know, I'll get my get to play alongside, you know, my best friend Kyle Kuzma. So it's just, it seems like everything's so perfect and just lining up um, to shock the world and just show them like, you know, DC, we, we back on the map and um, we ready to uh, wreck habit in the NBA. And um, I feel like we got every piece we need. Um, and I'm looking forward to it, man. Words can't explain it. I just really want to, you know, can't wait to show, show, you know, what I'm talking about, so. You touched on this. You mentioned the the piece that you have as a team, but as the the starter point point guard in this team and having teammates like Bradley, Kristaps, uh, Kyle mm -hmm. Kuzma, Danny Avdi, Yakori Kispert, a lot of threats on the floor. How easier make your your game, and and how how better is for you to have those threats on the floor alongside you? Um, I think it's amazing, man. It's gonna be a lot of space out there with you know all the shooting we do have, so. You know, to be fun to, you know, play pick and roll and throw lobs and, you know, throw the ball ahead and just watch these special players we got on our team, you know, thrive, you know, and that's my job. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. Um, everyone's excited. I'm excited. Um, so we'll be able to see and showcase our talent really, really, really soon. And lastly, your nickname is Big Time Ted. Why, what, what's the background behind that? Uh, they call it big game, big game Tay. Uh, it came uh, when I was at Iowa State. Uh, I hit like three game winners, and uh, and on campus, I, they just started walking around like big game Tay. And then I kind of just changed my Instagram to it. And I got to the NBA and, you know, hit big shots. And then they started saying it in Denver also. So it's just, a, it's kind of catchy too. But everybody know me as that. And then they use my locked in symbol. That's, that's what I uh, carry on me every day. I got it tattooed on me. And you go to my Instagram, most of the fans and everybody, you know, usually use that just to, just to, you know, let them know that they, they are fans of mine. So that's where Big Game Tay came from. And I'm just trying to keep, keep the name relevant and alive. Wish you many more big buckets. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. We will go back to Josh. Monte, when did you first meet Kyle? And now that you've, are adults, uh, how much have you kept up with him throughout the years? Yeah, I mean, you know, Kyle's, he, he's in one of my favorites. You know, you can pin stuff on the, on your phone for Texas. So we talk a lot. Um, I met Kyle. I met Kyle, he was like six, seven years old. Um, the same cl classroom through elementary school, played on the same um, AAU team for a while um, before going different directions. But we always kept in touch. Um, and we always dreamed about and talked about playing on the same NBA team. We was like, how cool would that be? Um, and now it's happened and, you know, it still feel like it's real, but you know, it, it, it happened and we, and we very excited. I think with me and him, you guys are going to see a lot of chemistry, just like just verbally talking and just playing with so much emotion. Cause we know the whole city is, you know, behind us and excited for us, you know, they can't stop talking about it. So it should be, it should be really fun. One final question for me, please. Uh, you mentioned your mom's influence a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, one of the reasons why you don't have many turnovers is because of you know, her tutelage. Uh, what kind of influence uh, has she had on you overall, but also on the basketball court? Yeah, I mean, she's amazing. You know, she's an amazing um, woman. Um, you know, she raised me single mom and she, you know, always kept a basketball in my hand. Um, she always tell me, you know, protect my protect my uh, purse. So whenever somebody steal a ball from me or some, I'm thinking my mama purse just got, you know, just got stolen. So that's why I kind of carry that MO with me. But overall, man, she's, uh, she's always, she never forced me to play ball, but she will always, you know, have a ball in my hand. But she looked at, she looks at me, you know, when it comes to basketball as a coach instead of a mom. So she's not biased, you know, and if I'm not playing well or 
I'm playing well. She giving me pointers. She texts me at halftime, you know, every game. And um, it's been consistently, you know, she'd be at games. We got eye, hand signals and things like that for certain situations. So it's more so a, um, a coach and then it's the mom side. So um, I think that's helped me over the years, you know, um, stay consistently uh, with my game. She played ball also, so she know what she's talking about. So.